Welcome to Guildford City's return to swimming video for Surrey Sports Park, Scoreboard End. This video is designed to educate parents, swimmers, and staff, about the new guidelines and protocols that have been put in place to protect all those who will be returning to training at SSP. It is mandatory that you have viewed this video to the end before returning to training. Please read the email and links you have received prior to viewing this video. It is imperative that everyone follows the new processes put in place. Having just two new COVID infections from anyone attending SSP, may mean the whole venue will need to close again. This video will cover the following areas. COVID officers, who they are and how to identify them. A before you leave checklist, identifying everything swimmers must do prior to leaving for training. A toilet procedure which follows current guidelines. What will happen if there is any illness or incidents at the center? And the arrival, training, and departure procedures specific to the scoreboard end. In line with Swim England guidance, the club has appointed two lead COVID officers. They are, Caroline Wood, and, Jeanette Smith, and are responsible for the club's risk assessments. At every training session there will be a nominated poolside COVID officer, who reports directly to the lead COVID officers. They will be visible by wearing a yellow mesh jacket. Poolside COVID officers will be responsible for ensuring that everyone is following the correct procedures at all times. Any incidents or breaches will be reported back to the lead COVID officers. Both roles are explained in more detail in the email sent to parents. Before you can return to training, you must have completed the mandatory return to training form. A link to this form has been given to members in the return to training email. The form includes a health check, and all questions must be answered. You must have received an email from the lead COVID officers, confirming that you are OK to train, before leaving for your first training session. You will only need to complete the mandatory form once. But it is your responsibility, to ensure that if anything changes, you report this to the lead COVID officers, and do not attend training until given the all clear by them. To check if you have any of the COVID-19 symptoms, please go to the following website. 111.nhs.uk slash COVID-19 You need to have prepared yourself before leaving home in order for the new procedures to be completed speedily and safely upon arrival, therefore please clean all your kit before leaving. Currently all changing areas are closed, so please arrive beach ready and ensure you have warm clothing to put on over the top of your costume, allowing a quick exit at the end of your session. Please ensure you wear clean shoes which are easy to remove and put on. Swimmers should bring one backpack that has been cleaned prior to arrival. Your swimming kit should consist of only two named water bottles to be taken poolside with you, two Guildford City hats, two pairs of goggles, fitted and ready to be used, one towel. Kit bags will not be used during the first few weeks. Please do not bring these until you are told to by your coaching team. Spare hat and goggles should be left in your bag. You will be given instructions by the poolside COVID officer if you need a spare item during training. There will be restricted use during training, so swimmers should use their toilet at home prior to leaving. Breaks will not be incorporated into sessions. The toilets next to the showers, will be used on a needs basis only. This will be cleaned by centre staff before and after every session. Swimmers must wash their hands thoroughly for 20 seconds after every use and should use the hand sanitizer on poolside before returning to the pool. Only swimmers who are healthy and symptom free should attend training. Any illness or Covid related incidents will be attended to by the PCO first. The PCO will ask the swimmer to exit the pool and put on a mask, whilst also wearing masks and gloves themselves. The PCO, in liaison with centre staff and LCOs, will decide the best course of action. Any general accidents, such as a trip or fall, will be attended to by the lifeguards first, who will then work with the PCO to ensure the swimmer is protected. 
Swimmers' parents will be contacted if needed, therefore all parents must stay within 15 minutes of the center. Please ensure your contact details are correct on Team Unify before training returns. The following section of video will now show you the new procedures for a single training session.
that concludes this return to swimming video. Thanks for watching.